Hello everyone, Golden Hawk here, founder of House of Life LLC, and I get to say this again, <laughs> creator of Ancient Powers uh, program. Uh, today I want to real quickly speak about uh, receiving my original program back, which was a really great thing for me, and I am going to be going back to the original name. So the group's going to change very shortly to uh, Major Powers. And I have a feeling I've got some Major Powers students that might be really glad to hear that. But uh, <laughs> I'm super happy about it. And uh, this big legal thing that happened while well back. I got it. So uh, today I want to talk about... Um, energetic constructs and uh, the natures of divinity. Uh, I had someone who came on who put up a beautiful picture of a winged being, gorgeous piece of artwork, and just like, oh, I love it. And then someone else said, oh, Metatron. And uh, this is natures of divinity, and Metatron is a construct. Metatron is an archangel from um, the Jewish or Hebrew traditions, and he's the recording angel or the chancellor of heaven. That's a construct of heaven, and Yahweh is a false creator god. Anytime you're dealing with uh, a supposedly divine power that is based on abuse, scarcity, war, damage, judgment, you're not dealing with the nature of divinity and um i just <laughs> hi everybody um jerry jason mary lee i just wanted to speak on that uh quickly the idea the fundamental piece of natures of divinity ancient powers very soon um is our true divine nature Son of God, Son of Man. Children of God grow up to be gods. And we're creators. We've been absolutely, for generations, creating the reality we live in right now. And as long as we stay connected to the constructs that our ancestors were forced into, we will be forced to live with a reality that we're not happy with. So, tribal cultures, all the tribal cultures around the world, anciently, had all of this aligned to all the living creatures and beings in the area that they were in, the elements that gave them life, the sun, the moon, all of this is divinity, all of this absolutely has power and all of this can rise within us and our divine nature is actually to dance and be joyous to raise our voices to breathe freely and it's not to struggle our divine nature is not to be in war and I doubt if any of you out there, and I know several of you out there personally, and your nature is generous, kind, giving. It is not judgmental. It's not your nature to be judgmental. And you want to live without fear. You want to live without war. And I'm not going, oh, we can build a utopia. That's not what we're going to do. We are 4D quantum creators. Everything around us, we help create with our emotions, with our, with our thoughts, with what we've come in cellularly from our ancestors, with what we allow ourselves to be connected to. If you're tuning into Trump's world, you're creating Trump's world. You're feeding it. Whether you're against it, for it or against it, it doesn't matter. 
So your focus needs to be on your own divine nature and what you want to create around you. And you can create your own 4D field. You are creating a 4D field inside theirs. As long as you're correct, connected, I mean, immediately, what happened? We had someone who was in absolute mastery. Oh no, divinity. And they took his little books and said, oh, we don't want this, it's apocryphalia. That takes our power. We'll take these four books and then we'll put Judaism behind it and take all this stuff that we'll retranslate 200 years later and create a book of laws that we won't even let people read themselves. And they built on this and chained people to it. Catholicism, Protestants, now we can go Muslim, isn't we get what the five people of the books? The book, it's not good. And I went back directly, directly into the umbilicus from the sun to earth, Pangaea center, and it's Kem. It was Egypt before we were 23.5 degrees off. The divine, the functions of divine nature is there. It's there, not in what can be translated in red, but in what you see and what you feel and what the symbolism gives you. And by the way, <laughs> the seal and Metron, Metron's cube, that's, that's serious. That's the energy of serious missing one line, one line, except it goes into an actual icosahedron. It's not 12 pointed. It's an icosahedron, just like the earth. Sacred mathematics holds everything in orbit. And I'm not going to strip every tribe can't do that, I don't have time. But those of you who are interested in doing this, contact me in about three days, <laughs> looking up ancient powers, and we're ready to go. And I'll give you the structure, and you'll do it. I have sorcery, I have shamanism, and sorcery, what they call evil sorcery, that's because they wanted to get between you and divine source. The source is God, the source is you. Solar plexus, the sun within, Amen Ra, the hidden sun, and the sun, the light, and beyond, the greater light of the universe. <laughs> Asaru, Asaru, uh, yes, Osiris. And I do use the old names, and I will be teaching the, the names so that the function can be called in like that. Um, because they trashed Osiris and made him something he wasn't either. He's by far more powerful, by far more powerful than the myth. And he was with us through the galactic night, all the way through the Egyptian underworld. He follows, just followed us through the Duat. Boom. And like, like the seeds that went into the Nile, because that's where, what he seeded. Life, 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 life truth in the seed in the center of the cell age of Pisces we finally passed it and here we are and the seeds are ours again absolutely the correct terminology it's not even terminology it's actually sound it's resonance and we call up resonance I don't call Yeshua Jesus I don't Jesus is Roman it's a Roman name Yeshua. And um, when I chant for Osiris, it's Asaru. And the resonance comes within me. I know. I have a knowledge of what he is and what I'm calling for, what I'm connecting with. And the resonance comes. The function comes. It is, it, the resonance comes with, with uh, toning. And uh, yes, there is a tuning to it. Uh, this resonance has, we're going to be saying, we're, we're going to be working with a whole nother set of octaves because if you decide to work with me, 
surprise, surprise, you got some more chakras opening. You become fully holographic. Fully holographic. You're divine. You're God. <laughs> and I hope you guys follow me over because my group page is going to be Ancient Powers. I will bring in, I will definitely be bringing in the science pieces because science has caught up with us. It took 9,500 years. But they've caught up with us enough to have a language for us to go, oh, this, which we called that and had all the heavens and hells in it and everything that we create around us, all around us, my computer, it's 4D, my ink pen, which I, because I'm making notes, <laughs> it's 4D. It's, a, it's something I created. You created all of us. We've created all of the things around us. We're 4D generators. But 5D, unconditional love, we're disconnected from that. And until we know no experience that we are a personal face of God, of divinity. And I don't like using God, the name of the word God. It's divine power. And there are many names. Ray, sun ray is good. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be bringing you a lot more information on this. And absolutely, I, I don't know what happened to Levi. Levi, that's a beautiful piece, absolutely beautiful piece, and uh, I kind of thought it was Oberon, <laughs> rather than Metron. Oberon is the lord of the, the, the high elves, or the, the great fairy, who are the children of the mist, who actually move into us from 9D, and move through the different elements and elemental realms, and... Uh, very beautiful, um, and you totally yeah. This is this is about Metatron. We're taking the power back. We'll judge ourselves. God resides within, and we're going to create. <laughs> there are words. Um, actually, I have an oracle deck. I have the basic functions of. Um, the Grand Triad, I have what the Ogdawad actually is, the Ogdawad of Tehote, the Great Eight, which are like the frog and reptile piece that comes down. And, you know, they go, oh, this is the abyss, you know, the watery abyss. It was never a watery abyss. It's abyss of waves, particles and waves. And we're finally where we can translate it. But it goes through, it goes through the sciences of coming into physical being. And, um, uh, or the alchemy coming into physical being from the light to the word consciousness coming into physical being and uh, the ancient ones and then the ones who returned for us to straighten the jet the stairway to heaven in order us in order for us to reconnect with higher dimensions for real not going around different places in the astral plane I was stuck there long enough I didn't like it and uh, you know what got me out was death and I've actually been clinically dead four times so I have this idea of you know real young like seven going wow super super not right and um, so this has been this has been my life path and I've actually been teaching this for a long time uh, and I'm so proud I can finally say it again, Ancient Powers. <laughs> and uh, removal of the seal. And on becoming. On becoming. Getting mastery in an area where you take, maybe it's carpentry, maybe it's electronics. Uh, whatever you get mastery in on the physical plane, we all want something of that. I'm sure most of you are way there and have mastery. But then you get to move into allowing other elements to move through you. And you go beyond mastery and move into divinity. I see this is crazy. I don't know exactly what you're saying, but I know. <laughs> you're talking. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm really trying to speak English, or not English, American. <laughs> the Englishman is uh, doing an errand for me so I can uh, put ancient powers up. <laughs> so I'm on my own on this one. Um, yeah, I've been spilling out this for a long time. I've 
I've got a lot of certifications. I've got a lot of education, and my my I was twelve years old reading uh, Grey's Anatomy and philosophy books, auditing my father. My father's doctor, and I was auditing his classes because that's where he had to take me. So, um, <laughs> you have an inner translator. Wait till it gets better, <laughs> um, because. In ancient powers, everything opens up. The false eye, there's a false eye in there, people. There's a false eye that's translating for you. The hook keeps you hooked. We're going to, we unhook everything. And um, I didn't want to put anybody on the hot seat, Carrie, because he's actually a graduate. And uh, <laughs> You understand me better than your husband understands me, or you understand me better than you understand your husband? <laughs> I talk girl talk. He talks boy talk, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gravity. I'm magnetic. You boys out there, you're, you're light. <laughs> you're dynamic. And uh, we have to alchemize, so we're not. We get to, we get to create this with opposition alchemy and a paradox which is the beauty of actually what they are calling metatrons cube so um, yes it's kind of emerging but not because we alchemize and we get an understanding but we still get to be ourselves so important to still be ourselves and does anyone else have any questions I saw that Jason was on here I didn't I don't know if Luke Mary Lee um, several of you, and uh, I didn't know what time I was going to get on today, and I'm sorry that I waited. Oh, I'm coming on in an hour, but um, I just, I didn't know, because it was, like I said, a surprising day, and everyone will be invited to um, Ancient Powers, to my new group page, uh, kind of as soon as I get it up, <laughs> and uh this is much better. Oh, no, no. Jason, you, maybe you're the only boy on, male one right now, but um, there's actually a lot. There's several men in the in the lineup. Some of them are in Europe right now. Um, and I, Carrie didn't make it. Carrie's a guy. <laughs> and uh, and Levi's a guy. And and there's, there's actually quite a few of you. Uh, and... I wanted to, <laughs> yeah, right now, I get to tell you about Jaguar a little tiny bit before I go. Um, Jaguar is a spotted cat, and Jaguar shows up eventually as the leopard bossed is uh, real closely related because there's a black on black or the dark shadow blue black spotted of bossed, but it's the very powerful uh, feline energy and she's a hunter she's a dancer too and um, I know actually what's going on is uh, she comes in the power plane and she is uh, about going hey you're going to make a bid for power and that usually comes in my shamanic classes and real early a lot of people jaguar is not common She's not common. She is amazing. I would love to talk to you if you have a little time afterwards, week p.m. But um, yeah, pulling in personal power through that energy is is awesome, and it is crazy. And uh, my cats and tiger, and boy, was I surprised. Because I, I did a lot of journeying and ended up with a lot of totem animals and a couple allies before I got her. And, and uh, I've actually worked with a cheetah, a real one, and I, uh, Popeye was a tiger that used to be brought into different places up here. And he's on a, he used to go into his cage. I actually laid down and napped with him. And he never came and never came and never came for the longest time. But, uh, <laughs> um, the 
Does anybody have any questions on, on this? I'll be coming back on. Uh, I'm even forgetting. I'll be back on on the 22nd, and solstice is 3 a.m. on the Pacific out here uh, tomorrow morning, as in midnight tonight at 3 a.m. So I'm going to be doing solstice in the dark. <laughs> celebrating when she comes over to Egypt, but at the degrees off, so I'm fine now. Um, but uh, I'm super excited. I'm just really excited about this little shift. And I will be around for a while afterwards in PM over. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to do it a little earlier. I. I'm going to switch times of the day that I do it on the days that I do come in so that hopefully people in the different areas will be able to do the lives with me at least once a week. Um, and I'm excited to be connected with you too, Kim. And actually, Jason, McCoy, you were wonderful coming in from the direction that you came from. <laughs> up to two or three, two. <laughs> and we'll talk again soon. And I'll post up. I'm going to be putting up a calendar, actually, probably uh, of events in a few days as soon as the AP stuff, the ancient power stuff comes up. We're going to have a calendar. <laughs> I'm ready to go too, Jason. PM me when you're ready. <laughs> you're not going to sleep when you're dead, honey. That's a myth. <laughs> That's a myth. You don't sleep when you're dead. <laughs> not if you die awake. <laughs> but blessings, Nefrika, and uh, I'll see you real soon. PM me if you'd like. Anytime I check pretty regularly. And... Uh, Yay, happy solstice. <laughs>